Okay. So the first thing that we do with carrot salad is we peel carrot. The, I made the recipe specifically on one pound of carrots because it's easy to buy a one pound bag of carrots and you know you just use the whole bag. Whatever size the carrots are, it doesn't matter. Um, now you can make carrot salad with the skins on. Um, just like you can do scalloped potatoes with the skins on too. You don't have to peel them. Uh, but I will say the one thing I've noticed with carrot salad is if you leave the skins on when you grate the carrots, the carrots will turn brown faster. Um, so if that is, you can do it either way, whatever you prefer. If you don't mind a little bit of brown color in your carrot salad, you can leave them on. Um, carrot skins are very good for you, but uh, if not, take the peeling off. Okay, I'm gonna rinse these off real quick. And this time we're gonna use this instead of the big one. How's that? Get to see how one of these works. For a pound of potatoes, I mean carrots. Uh, at home, we don't own a food processor like this. We just have one of these. We have a little tiny mini chopper. <laughs> <laughs> we can do just about anything with this. I mean, you can uh, shred cabbage with it for coleslaw. Uh, you can slice potatoes in it for scalloped potatoes, great carrots, pretty much anything you need to chop up. It chops up very nicely in that. And there's not much dishes to wash afterwards because this is your only piece you have to wash. And it comes apart in a three pieces. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, what else do we need to put in this thing? There, you'll notice there's some ingredients that go in the bowl with the carrots and some that go in the blender as the cream. So we're doing the bowl first. So what goes after the carrots? Pineapple. Pineapple. Uh, how much pineapple? Crushed. One can of crushed pineapple. That's a 20 ounce can. That's a standard standard can for crushed pineapple. Unfortunately, I don't have any crushed pineapple. So we're going to go for pineapple chunks. Which means that I'm going to make my own crushed pineapple in the food processor. So if you have crushed pineapple, you just simply dump the whole can in there. Juice and all. You don't have to worry about fiddling with anything. Um, but since I have chunks. <clears throat> I don't want that juice to go in the food processor and create a mess. I'm just going to put it in here and make crushed pineapple. Well, my hands look like that. Now we have crushed pineapple. I'm just amazed at how hot that thing is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a mess in the process. Yep. Okay. And that juice, I actually just go ahead and put in to the salad. Um, I just didn't want it to make a mess in there. <laughs> How long will it take you to finish this, Daniel? What's that? How long will it take you to finish this bowl? To eat it all? Do <laughs> oh. Two days? A day or two, yeah. <laughs> it take me a whole day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of carrots there. Okay, so what else goes in here after crushed pineapple? Half a cup of raisins. Half a cup of raisins. Half a cup of raisins. 
All right. And we already measured those. So we're just going to dump them in. Anything else that goes in here? Half a teaspoon of salt. <coughs> All right, half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And what I do? Lemon juice. Is I just stir that up to let that start marinating while I make the cream. That salt is going to moisten the carrots. Actually, it's going to make the carrots wilt is what it's going to do and make it nice and soft. Um, and the longer it sits, the softer the carrots get. So tomorrow the salad tastes even better than today. It gets even better. <laughs> it gets even better. Can you believe it? Yeah, I made that um, salad two hours before you ate it. So it had two hours to marinate. But yeah, tomorrow it's even better than that. So now we make the cream. So what goes in our cream? Now, for, I will say for this recipe, a giant blender like this is not, uh, what do you say, optimal? <laughs> you got this tiny little bit of stuff that you're trying to blend in the monster blender without throwing it all up. How much cashews goes in here? Half a cup. Half a cup, all right. A mess here. All right, we're gonna rinse them off again. What else goes in here besides cashews? Lemon juice. One tablespoon of lemon juice. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Is there anything else? There's one tablespoon of before I get it wet. Uh, one to two tablespoons of salt and molasses. That's a wet ingredient. Everything else is teaspoons? Mm, okay, good. Else. Then I'll use my tablespoon. So, one tablespoon lemon juice, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. One tablespoon lemon juice. Can you use mandarin oranges instead of pineapples? I wouldn't use it instead. You might be able to add a few to it. It'll give it a little bit of a different flavor. Uh, mandarin oranges taste better on lettuce salads with, like, candy and pecans. Mandarin oranges are a little more sour. A little more zing to it. Yeah. Yeah, I like mandarin oranges. But they're really good on lettuce salads. Okay, we've got the cashews and the lemon juice in here now. What else? I know there's something else that goes in here. We sort of molasses, is what you said? How much? One to two tablespoons. One to two tablespoons? All right, we're going to guess. Now, if you don't have sorghum molasses, you can use honey. Which do you think tastes better? I'm going to assume sorghum since that's what you're using. No, I use sorghum because it's cheaper. <laughs> honey, to me, Honestly, honey they, both, they both taste good. To me, honey um, tastes better. To because me. there's only a little bit in that whole thing, you really don't taste it. So it doesn't really matter. After sorghum? How much? Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? Okay. Okay, and anything else? Half a teaspoon of onion powder. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. You notice that's not very much onion powder. Onion bread, is that the same? Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry, I made a mistake on that recipe. It should say onion powder. <laughs> yeah, all the recipes that have onion powder, it's granules. Yeah. Onion, okay. onion powder and granules are actually two different things, mm -hmm. but what is in this bottle called onion powder is actually onion granules. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, it's very hard to find onion powder in the store that's actually onion powder. Um, onion powder is so fine, it's like talcum powder. And it goes poof. But grocery stores don't like to sell it because uh, it absorbs the humidity so fast it turns into a solid block very quickly. Plus it oxidizes faster and you don't get the onion flavor as long. So they've actually, most uh, grocery stores sell onion powder is actually onion granules um, because it, it uh, won't cake up so fast and it tastes more like onion. So what I sell over there <coughs> is actually onion granules. You'll see a, a 
it's a jar called onion granules, and I use it as onion powder. <laughs> Um, anything else that goes in here? Water, right? Water. How much water? Quarter cup. Quarter cup. That's not very much. Is it? One fourth cup. Yep. All right. Let's see if we can measure a quarter cup here. Might be easier Bam. to use a quarter cup. Right there. Am I on it? Nailed it. Oh, good. We won't bother with it. We'll just put it in. All right, you can see how little it is in that blender. <laughs> it's a lot easier to blend it in a smaller blender, but we'll see what we can do. As you can see, it has a tendency to throw it rather than blend it. <laughs> It's a lot easier to do this with a double recipe, which is what I usually make for the restaurant. Yeah, it's a double recipe. It throws it a lot too. Yep. But I think it's okay. It gets annoying. All right, so that is our cream. What are you doing me? And that little bit of cream mixes with all that pineapple and pineapple juice and the juice from the carrots to make a very juicy salad. Pretty amazing, isn't it? To worry about this spoiling in the summertime as much easier. No, you Keep don't, because that pineapple makes it really well preserved. All right, any questions on that? You just put that in the fridge and let it sit for an hour or two before you serve it, or overnight if you're making it the day before, and it's ready to go.